Hi everyone, Rage Kitten here, playing Fallout 4 on the PlayStation 4. If you're watching this, it's because you've encountered the same bug that I did, which is upon receiving the quest taken for a ride and needing to make your way through Red Eye's gauntlet, uh, the security door won't open for you. So uh, if you are in a situation like myself where you don't have a recent save to uh, reload and try again, I'm going to show you a method to get around this bug and get our way make our way back into the gauntlet. Unfortunately, we will still miss a solid probably 80% of the gauntlet, but it requires fewer exploits than uh, the other primary method that you'll see out there. In that uh, scenario, what I've seen people do is they get into they bypass the gauntlet altogether in its entirety they get into the final building that we need to reach and they use the power armor glitch to go through walls and backtrack to um, the area of the building that they need to be in so that they can go ahead and just finish up that final boss fight uh, for me I wanted to get as much of the quest as possible just to um, you know for the, the experience and I don't really like to use exploits and uh, cheats stuff like that so we will use a minor uh, exploit but like I said in my situation it was really the only option uh, other than to lose hours of progress in the game so we come through the station here we go down these stairs this is the security door that would lead into the gauntlet. That's it there, but uh, we can't get through, right? So we click this door. This is the, the tiny, tiny exploit that we will use. Um, tiny in the sense that, I mean, it's doable. You know, we're not having to put in console commands or anything like that. So if you position yourself right here, you can just barely see the chain on the other side of the door through this gap. What you want to do is just align with that just move very slowly until you see chain activate there we go chain activate hit X right alright so there we go door is open this gets us into the main area of the map uh, which we really shouldn't be here but um you know, I suspect once you finish the quest you can backtrack your way and that's how you would do it so, uh, but this was, this was essential for us. It was, like I said, we had very little options. So we come down these stairs, we take a right, and we're going to run straight into Nuka World Park. Now, once you enter the park, uh, you will find different residents it, uh, excuse me, different residents, so maybe you can talk to them, there are vendors, if you can buy drugs, meds, whatever you need to gear up for the final boss fight, I definitely suggest you do it, and we will encounter a few enemies ourselves. Uh, now with me, I was playing on very hard, they are extremely tough, um, the raiders that we'll see uh, toward the end, they throw grenades so they can deal heavy damage, so definitely uh, gear up as much as you can to prepare for that. Now for the purposes of this, I did put it on, well, not very easy, but I put it on easy so that hopefully we don't have any issues. Now with the other videos that you'll see, I believe they go through this door here. This is the building we would ultimately end up in, the Kolokar's Arena. That's where you'll fight the, the main boss, I think it's Colton, right? But we don't want to do that, so we're going to come around the side here and go up these ladders. And now we're actually right on top of this final stretch of the gauntlet. And you'll see that Red Eye will acknowledge that we have reached this point um, as I move up ahead. So he thinks we've gone through all of the rest of it, even though we haven't. Um, but this is better than um, just bypassing it altogether, in my opinion. So you come around and we'll reach this door. Sometimes the map takes about 10 seconds or so, maybe five to load. So if you have to just wait for that and then you can go ahead and activate that chain for the door to open. And we'll unlock this door. All right, so now in here there's two sets uh, well, rather, there's there's two swarms of flying ants. There's a normal ant and there's a legendary ant. So we'll go ahead and we'll take all of them out. Cool. 
So now that that's taken care of, we come around this side. And as you can see, this doorway leads us into the actual gauntlet itself. So any second now, there should be some raiders spawning up top. There we go. So the problem here is that they can shoot you through that, but you cannot shoot them. So we need to come back around uh, and go back the way we came to get up on that roof so that we can kill them. All right, so they spawn pretty far back, you know, because they're coming back up the way we did. So I like to use this wall for cover. They do throw grenades, so be cautious of that. Um, and so I usually just lure them close, and then I kill them from there. Actually, were you dead? Yeah, no, we'll do all of that on you. Alright, so I kill one, I come back here, I regroup, again, try not to stand still, uh, they run right past me, I think, because of my stealth or something, I don't know. Alright, so we'll kill them, but yeah, try not to stand in one spot, because if they do throw a grenade, you're probably going to die. Alright, so we'll go back up, I think there's about seven or eight of them. for his shooting arm. Oh, uh, grenade. Oh, that was very close. Alright. Let's get our stim packs. Now here again, this is on easy, so I just I want that to really weigh on you. Um, you, you definitely want to be at a, at a proper level for this area, you know, have your gear, have your drugs and whatnot. Um, and it could be because of my build, like I don't, I'm a self build, so I'm very lightweight armor. I don't have a lot of protection because I shouldn't really need it. These guys just tend to detect me very well. So, um, you've really just gotta be careful of that. If you have a similar build. Uh, there is also a turret down in here that we can take out. Uh, let me... Well, I guess we'll do you first. this wall again, especially if they decide to throw grenades. Alright, they retreated. Sometimes they just disappear entirely. I, I don't know where they go. It's possible that when we go back into the gauntlet, they'll come back. But yeah, so here you can see, like, there are there are different people. Actually, are those the ones I'm killing? Is that where they're coming from? That could be quite possible. But alright. So for the time being, we will run back into the gauntlet. And if they do show back up on the roof, we'll, we'll go and we'll kill them. Alright, yeah, so I can see the red dot. Well, it was there. Now it's not. Okay, so we'll, we'll just try and progress. So if you come through here, um, I think it's because I'm on easy mode, so they're not here. Um, but usually there are strings with a bunch of grenades that you can disarm. Uh, you want to be sure to do that. So then we'll come around here, and at some point there is a turret right here. I'm not going to use that gun, though. I'm just going to use this. Okay. 
Alright, so then that's pretty much it for enemies. Unless these guys decide to come back, you're, you are in the clear. You just come around here. Oh, and actually, just let me show you really quickly. So if we come back... Where, where am I? What am I doing? Here we go. If we go back this way... And in this room... Over here, right? So this doorway here, this is where if you had gotten the security door to open and you went through the gauntlet um, as a whole, this is where we would have come out. Now you can take this door, you can go through there, but eventually you reach an open doorway that just has an invisible force field. It will not let you through. So uh, as much as I wanted to backward progress through the gauntlet to do everything that I would have done normally, I could not. So um, we'll just, we'll do it this way. Now, once the quest is complete, uh, I suspect maybe that invisible barrier will go away. So if you want to see what you could have experienced going through the gauntlet, um, you can you can try that. I don't know if it'll work or not, and I don't think that there will be enemies there, but you never know. Uh, they could be, because we didn't kill them in the first place. Uh, I know there's a portion with turrets, so they could potentially still be there. But nonetheless, um, doing it this way, we'll come around here up here and here is the door that gets us into that Call of Cars arena. This is where you'll have your your uh, final boss fight. So we'll go ahead, we'll go in there. Alright, so then once this loads up, you are essentially just continuing the quest as you would have otherwise if you didn't have the bug of the uh, security door not opening, right? Everything from here on out will be the way it was intended. So I hope that this helped those of you that are watching. I appreciate the views and uh, if you have any questions or anything, definitely, definitely feel free to comment, throw a like on there uh, if this was of any use to you and if you encounter any other bugs and you find your own methods I definitely encourage you to post videos uh, to let others know how you did it again especially for those of us that don't really like to use exploits and bugs um, and you know being on PS4 we don't have the luxury of being able to just throw in a console command to bypass that bug alright so thanks again everybody have a good one bye